In the dusty, sun-scorched plains of Texas, there lived a young man named Dallas Leslie, a ragged 19-year-old with a southern drawl as smooth as molasses. Born and raised in the heart of Kentucky, Ellis had left home at a tender age, seeking adventure and purpose beyond the rolling hills of his childhood. It was in the year 1865 that Ellis found himself in a small Texas town, seeking refuge from the harsh realities of life on the road. Little did he know that fate had other plans in store for him. Drawn to the lawless allure of the Wild West, Ellis soon found himself serving as a deputy to Sheriff Bud Johnson, a grizzled old lawman with a reputation as tough as the leather of his holster. Under Bud's tutelage, Ellis honed his skills as a tracker and gunslinger, earning a fearsome reputation of his own as he rode across the vast expanse of the Texas frontier, capturing crooks, horse thieves, and other ne'er-do-wells with a swift hand and a steady aim. But it was one fateful day that would forever alter the course of Ellis's destiny. Two suspicious strangers, their eyes as cold as the steel of their guns, rode into town under the guise of innocence. Their words were honeyed, their smiles deceitful, but Ellis saw through their facade with the keen intuition of a man who had seen his fair share of trouble. Suspecting foul play, Ellis approached Sheriff Bud with his concerns, but the old lawman brushed him off with a grunt, dismissing his warnings as the fanciful musings of a young upstart. Undeterred, Ellis took it upon himself to keep a watchful eye on the strangers, waiting patiently outside the bank as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the deserted streets. It was in the dead of night that the strangers made their move, their footsteps echoing ominously against the wooden planks of the sidewalk as they approached the bank with malice in their hearts and greed in their eyes. But Ellis was ready, his Colt revolver drawn in his nerves as steady as the steady rhythm of his heart. With lightning speed, he emerged from the shadows, his voice a thunderous boom that shattered the silence of the night as he commanded the strangers to drop their weapons and surrender. Caught off guard, the strangers hesitated for a moment, their faces contorted in disbelief as they found themselves staring down the barrel of Ellis's gun. With nowhere to run and no hope of escape, they complied with his demands, their hands shaking as they raised them high above their heads in defeat. The next morning, the townsfolk awoke to the news of Ellis's heroism, their cheers echoing through the streets like a symphony of triumph. And as Sheriff Bud stood before them, his head bowed in shame, he knew that his time had come to an end. In a gesture of humility and respect, Bud resigned from his position as sheriff, passing the torch to Ellis with a nod of approval and a gruff pat on the back. And as Ellis took his place at the helm of the small Texas town, his heart swelled with pride, knowing that he had finally found his true calling as a guardian of justice in the untamed wilderness of the Wild West.